Yeah, we've got Chris Hackenberg and Bill Belton in the front. A lot of numbers for you, over 300 yards again, three touchdowns. Um, as you're out there and the running game was kind of struggling, did you kind of feel like you were going to have to get it done through the, through the air again? Um, yeah, I think it's just whatever we got to do to win, and that's, that's one thing that this team's very good at. And, um, you know, people stepped up and made plays. Uh, you know, I just feel like i got to play a little more consistent in order for us to be able to really, uh, really be able to rely on that, you know what I mean? So I think, um, I think as a team, though, I was proud of the guys who really stepped up when we needed to, and, and they made plays. What did you see on the interceptions in the red zone, the two of them? Yeah, they were, they were just one of those things where I tried to force something that I shouldn't have done. And, um, you know, happy I'm getting out of the way now and be able to learn from it. And, you know, something that I, I, I got to work on. Um, you know, just improving those two or three, four plays a game, where where I get greedy or I try to force things. And, you know, it's just part part of the part of getting better, part of getting better each week, and being able to go back and look at it on film. Christian, talk about that drive in the third quarter, ten plays, seventy nine yards. You eventually scored to James. How important was that drive for the team? And yeah, that was goal? yeah, that was huge. I mean, you saw the third down, third and whatever it was, half the field, and Gino comes up with a great catch. Um, you know, those are the type of things that, 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 that we're doing a better job than even we did last year. We really weren't very good at all at third down. So I think it's, it's good to see that type of improvement on third down and, and see guys step up and make plays and understand, like, here's my shot, here's when i got to take my chance. And, you know, most of the time, at least so far throughout the first two games, they've done that. Christian, what goes through your mind when you're split out, running the, when you guys are running the Wildcat? Yeah. What goes through your mind yeah. when the first time it happened, what did you think about it in, in practice? Yeah, I don't know. It's just one of the, it's, it's a wrinkle. I mean, um, you know, it's pretty cool seeing it from, seeing the game from a different point of view, <laughs> I guess. But, uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's something that, that we can uh, really use to our advantage as a team. How badly did you want to catch that pass and go for a touchdown? Yeah, I was trying. I, I don't know. You know, it's one of those things, get some reps. Uh, usually when we do it at practice, I'm just naked, so, you know, whatever. But they, they've, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's fun. So it's a new addition again to more things that we're doing uh, differently, and I think, uh, you know, we'll just continue to get better at that. And what was your reaction when you guys first ran that at practice? I mean, were you kind of? Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, it's cool. It's fun. We ran in the spring, um, mm -hmm. in the spring. Um, but, you know, I think that, uh, I think, again, it's just one of those things mm -hmm. that we do that's another wrinkle, and it's uh, it's good for this team. What happened on the fumble? On the fumble? Yeah. Uh, that was just a miscommunication. Um, I didn't give the snap count yet, and Mange, Mange let it rip. Um, you know, it's probably my fault. I started the kids a little early. But, um, you know, it's just one of those things that, that happens, and we had to bounce back from it. Christian, what are maybe some of the keys of settling down to huddle when you sense guys are maybe getting a little frustrated and things are going away? Yeah, I mean, you saw it. You know, we just have to – we had to just sort of – collect ourselves and start making plays and you know I think going back to that catch that Gino had was one of those things where the guy made a play now he can start building on that and I think I think the guys really bought in and then once the offensive line started having some success in the run game um, you know I think that that helped them get their confidence back and, and we started being able to protect and move the ball. What clicked better in the second half compared to the first just to allow you guys to move better? Yeah I think it was just again guys making plays guys stepping up making plays us being able to get the ball out quick to our playmakers and letting them run an open field and, uh, you know, I think you saw us get the run game going a little bit towards the end, and I think that was good for us. Christian had uh, over 300 yards, but just made a few mistakes. Can you evaluate your play a little bit? Are you happy with how you play today? Yeah, I mean, as I said, you know, it's, it's frustrating for me because I know that, that I can play so much better, and there's, you know, always three or four plays during the game so far the past two games where I wish I could have them back. So, um, you know, just going to continue to improve on that, but at the end of the day, it wins a win, and the guys really stepped up when they needed to and made plays, and, you know, uh, I'm happy with what we did. Um, you know, I'm not going to say either way about my performance, but there, there's always room, to, uh, room for improvement. And I think, you know, it's just three or four plays for me consistently um, where I got to keep continuing to get better at. Why was it Jesse involved in play? Is it something that they were doing? Um, well, I mean, we saw them start coming up and trying to press us, and I felt that, uh, we, we, you know, Coach Donovan felt that we had a good shot at, at being able to take a shot with Jesse, and um, especially on the back side of the play action, and, you know, our two receivers being split out the guys that were getting the ball the most. So, you know, Jesse was able to make a play, and I think, um, I think it was just something we saw upstairs. The number of big plays you guys have made, even the third and 25 or the long touchdowns last weekend, this week, when you've always got those kind of things in your back pocket and, and, and you've got a shot at them, does that – how comforting is that, even if the offense is struggling to get things going consistently? Yeah, it puts a lot of confidence in all of us. Um, you know, even if we dig ourselves in a hole, we understand that we can step up and someone will be able to make a play. Uh, we get a good play call in there, which we've been doing re uh, consistently in those types of situations. And guys have stepped up and made plays. I mean, you know, the V out with Gino again here. Um, you had, you know, the in go last week with Gino. 
even Deshaun making plays in the third down, tough situations. Guys coming up and making plays. Did you get a chance to meet Kerry Collins yesterday? Yeah. Like, yeah, it was. I mean, it was neat. I got a chance to uh, talk to him after after I walked through. Um, you know, great guy, guy who uh, you know I'm I'm gonna try and keep in touch with, be able to pick his brain about things, and you know, it's just always trying to trying to get better and take things from guys who've been there and done that. Um, you know, what you want to do and what you want to do with this team here at Penn State. You know, they were obviously undefeated, so being able to pick a guy's brain like that is uh, is, is awesome.